Michael, it's been cold enough that you've undoubtedly seen an increase in your power bills. What to do about that? other than cutting back on the thermostat. Meet Michelle Evanson, who is with Empower New York. She is the outreach coordinator. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. And uh, there is a program run through NYSERDA and Honeywell correct. that uh, will help people work at lowering their energy bills. That's correct. How do you get out and help people lower their well, bills? Well, the program itself, first off, I'd like to say uh, to be eligible for this program. Yes. Um, as a resident in New York State, you must meet the income eligibility guidelines that are given through HEAP, the Home Energy um, Assistance, Assistance Program. program uh -huh. correct. And in addition, you can be a homeowner but you, can al homeowner, but you can also be a renter. They'll go in and do what's called an electric reduction audit. Mm -hmm. And in the process of the audit, the contractor will meter the appliances such as the refrigerator, and also a freezer if on the premises. Because we know that older appliances use more exactly, energy. Exactly, exactly. And if those appliances are in, in, in excess uh, for usage, then we will replace them as part of the program. Okay. Yes. Um, some things as simple as changing light bulbs can make a yes, difference. Yes, very much so. And one of the things as part of the program as well is to do lighting retrofits, which would include replacing some of those old um, incandescent light bulbs with the new compact fluorescent light bulb. You know, you talk about saving pennies, but, but when you look at a bill, I mean, those pennies really do add up. Oh, yes, you're actually saving dollars uh, because an, a typical incandescent is equal to 18 watts now for a compact fluorescent light bulb. So wow. it's big difference. And talking about dollars, uh, you have a lot of money to essentially give away. Absolutely. Uh, the Public Service Commission has allocated over $46 million dollars for the next four years. And our goal is to assist over 15,000 residents per year with this. And yes. uh, they can be anywhere in New York State. Absolutely, yes, anywhere. Here's some information. There's a toll-free number as well as a website. And as we say, you can also call your county offices for more information. Hope you've learned something this morning. Thank you very much, Lynn.